Be with you momentarily. Liberty is worth every penny. Take care now. Rub the sleep out your eyes. We're here. Thanks, mister. You help me out. There you are. Here I am. Come on, let's go. Let's go where? And why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Today is the day they are going to hang Colm O'Driscoll. That's uh, so. Rather they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are gonna hang him. Yeah, and not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him onto the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are gonna disguise ourselves. In this? In this. Okay. Come on. Well, don't we just look the part? We'll cut through the alley to get to the gallows. We keep our weapons holstered, our disguises on, and our wits about us. Mrs. Adler, might I say, being a fancy woman of sand and he shoots you. <laughs> I dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch swing. Colm hung me up, nearly butchered me. That don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband weren't so lucky. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy Kieran. We've all lost something because of Colm. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. Amen to that. Now keep those fingers off those triggers, because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. <laughs> Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? Are you gonna keep your cool? Really? When you seem to lose it all so often now. This doubting and questioning of yours? I miss the old Arthur. Don't we all? You two quit it. We all got a job to do. And we're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it. As far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Come on. We got a hanging to witness. Look here. Don't the public love an execution? Hey. All right, good. Now, you see that pair of assholes? Sure. They're Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. I'm glad we're here. 
What are they pointing at? I don't know. We gotta follow them and find out. Yeah. Oh, here comes somebody. <clears throat> Stay here. Don't do nothing. Go brush that horse, yes, officer. Wander. Yes, the crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. I guess they did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey. Hey. You know I wasn't going to let it come to that. Well, I guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. Here and now, Colm O'Driscoll's going to get his due. He's cutting in there. Let's go. Quiet. Bunch of cops. Well, how many? Enough. So what do you think? Paul's up on the roof. Once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah. I guess we faced worse than this before. Sure. Let's get to it. Yeah. So, they got a guy up on the roof overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there. On one of these verandas. Through a building, maybe. Get him, and do it silently. Well, obviously, I'm gonna do it silently. I wanna see this bastard swing. Oh, Arthur. Bonjour, monsieur. Find a way up to the roof and stop it. I'll go back to Mrs. Adler. Oh, excuse you. There's a shooter then. Shine Earl brought up. That ain't no kind of news to me. Well, what we got here? be barbaric for sometimes a man is so savage the only way to deal with him justly is by savagery Colm O'Driscoll is one such man he has murdered tortured robbed stolen, raped, and abused for a decade across five states, seemingly with impunity. Today, justice catches up with him. <laughs> As well you may. I've been a bad man. Silence! These charges... This are... is not a court! 
where you shall be tried. This is a place where your sentence is to be carried out. And your <laughs> sentence, <laughs> Cole Modriscoll, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. <sighs> This is not a task we take lightly. It is not a task we enjoy. But it is a task we must carry out if our civilization is to prosper. Gentlemen, are we ready? Call Modriscoll. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. <laughs> now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life! Die! Okay, let's die! go. Morgan! You hear us? Take a shot on these old Driscolls! Just get out of here. Go! How you get on, Arthur? Well, and we saw the bastard hang okay, but <coughs> no thing ain't gonna save us. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. I guess compared to the entire government, in the end, Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? She ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? My dear Arthur, I don't know if you received the letter I wrote to you from San Denis a while back. It was foolish of me to ask for your help again, and I promise there will be no recurrence. I don't imagine you'll receive this letter either, but I nonetheless must send it. Arthur. Oh. Arthur, I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams when I read about your recent activities in the newspaper. I miss you, and I will always miss you, but I cannot live like that, and it seems you cannot live any other way. When I'm with you, the world makes sense, but when we're apart, I... See clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. I am so sorry for everything, for everything long ago, and for starting up that business again. There's a good man within you, Arthur, but he is wrestling with a giant, 
and the giant wins time and again. I enclose a ring you gave me many years ago when we were both young, not because I don't like it, but because I care for it far too much and it reminds me too much of you. I hope one day you'll find some people in love who can use this, for it kept me thinking of you all these years, and I hope by returning it to you, I can finally be free. Goodbye, Mary. So good of you to join us. What's going on? Rebellion. The smell of cordite and integrity. It is a beautiful thing. What are y'all doing? An eye for an eye. We didn't start this, Arthur. They did. We? This ain't our fight. It surely is. Whatever it is you're planning, it ain't a good idea. They want you to fight. Nobody will be killed. We're just gonna trap a few of them in the valley, disarm them, tar and feather them, and remind them to leave these boys alone. You have energy for pranks? Come on, Arthur. Just tweaking Uncle Sam's nose a little. I need you to help me. Besides, it's perfect. People will see these boys. They won't notice us, and they'll think we're gone. Everyone will blame everything on the Indian problem, and we'll disappear up the river. But first, we need to trap them in this pass. Help me dynamite up these trees. So, you're using them? No, sir. No. Never. But... It is mutually beneficial to draw attention to one problem and a veil over another. These are good people, but their situation is real complex. We ain't helping them. Sure we are. Come on, let's get this done. The patrol should be coming in a few minutes. Okay. Hurry, Arthur. I'll plant the dynamite. You run the wire. We'll keep lookout from up here. I sent for some of that dynamite you and Bill commandeered in Van Horn. Good work with that, by the way. Bill played drunk. The perfect man for the job. So, you finally got to see Colm hang. Yeah. After all those years, hard to believe. Oh, but it was worth the wait. See? We're tying up the loose ends, Arthur. One by one. Let's go, Arthur.
Hurry, I think I see some movement in the distance. The detonator's by me, here. My spotter will let us know when they're near. They're coming now. Ah, oh, damn. Patrol's a lot larger than we thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Don't worry. That's a good thing. Okay, that's the signal. Here they come. Stay low and quiet. You sure you don't want me to man that plunger, Arthur? No. I got it. Oh, remove the weight of the world from your shoulders for a minute. Like I said, we're just going to give them a bit of a scare. There they are. Looks like more than we thought. It's fine. We're only here to talk and administer a little good old-fashioned humiliation. You're owed that, son, at the very least. Wait for my lead, men. Everyone just stay calm. We've got the upper hand here. Okay. They've passed the first charge. If we blow it now, we should have them trapped. Put your hands up! You're surrounded! Nobody need get hurt! Your humiliation of us has gone on quite enough. This ain't a good idea! Put down your guns! You are making a mistake, boy! No! You're making a mistake! Put your hands up, soldier! Take a little humiliation and leave these fine folks alone. Who are you? A concerned citizen. Is that so? They're ready to ambush. What now? We should move. No, 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 not quite yet. Ready to fire. Soldier, you and your friends gonna tuck tail and run off? Run! Excuse me? I'm getting bored of this. Your friends fire first, soldier! <laughs> My father won't be happy about this! of pastry chefs and bullies. Watch your goddamn mouth. All of you, take what you can, and then we move out. Move now. We have to move now. Search these men quickly, then we move. This is crazy. Why aren't we getting out of here? They might have information on them that'll help our friends with their cause. We need anything my father can use to strengthen our case. I ain't sure much is gonna strengthen your case after this. It's done now. We should get out of here soon, though. Find anything? Yes. Some poor fool from New Jersey. These boys ain't the problem. They're only kids. Keep looking. Just 
Where's Peta? Damn. We're sending riders from the fort. We need to leave. But where's Peta? Was he killed? He's alive. Well, that went just about according to plan. I'm trying. I'm trying, Arthur, with everything I have, and I will keep trying, and you'll keep doubting me, and we'll keep failing. It ain't like that, Dutch. Look at me. Look at me! I'm just... This ain't how we do things. I know. I... We should go. Where's Eagle Flash? Run, son! Run! Come on! This area is gonna be crawling with soldiers in a few minutes. We gotta leave. Now! What about Eagle Flash? We gotta go, Arthur. Come on! We need to ride hard. Stay with me. Okay, let's dismount here. We won't get the horses down this path. All right, let's carry on by foot. Try and sell them a little snake oil. You th You're gonna die. Shit. I guess not. Get behind something, Arthur. I'm gonna put you down. Gotta spit us out somewhere. Okay. Okay. Follow my lead. I got a plan. This is a good one. Hello, officers. You keep them hands up and come here. Put your hands up. Hello, Captain. Keep your hands up and come here. Come here. We, uh... We can't do that. Your man... Those men they killed... They were good men. You're fighting nature. Captain. Get 
Over here! Ask my friend. Here. My whole life, I tried to fight change. It's a waste. I see that. Now, it's a waste. You can't fight nature, Captain. You can't fight change. You can't fight gravity. Um... what we need. Oh, we just escaped from chaos. Eagle flies must have been taken. Taken or killed. Well, we can't go find out. No, not now. Charles, I'll, we'll send them. Where is it? <laughs> He's probably back at camp. Let's split up. I'll go tell him. You rest up, then go meet him up at the reservation. We are gonna make it, brother. I can feel it. Faith, Arthur. Have faith. I'm back, girl.
Arthur. Hello, Charles. Thank you for coming. Of course. The chief, he's, uh... He, he's very... Maybe you could speak to him? Yes, yes. Why, well, I can't. He's in his tent. Joe. I'll wait for you here. Hello? <coughs> Come in. Mr. Morgan, I'm so glad you could make it. How are you? My son. My son is foolish, but he's still my son. I know your son. A little. He's very brave. Very angry. <laughs> he's me. How is your father? He's dead a long time. He lived a lot longer than was good for any of us. My son probably wishes the same to me. <laughs> I doubt that. I want peace. I need my people to be safe. All my life I've tried to bring peace. But I love my son. They'll hang him for treason. Treason. He is the chief son of a proud nation. How could he commit treason? And people who have lied to my people for... A hundred years or more, that's treason. Well... What should I do? I don't think there's much chance reasoning with Colonel Favors. No. And any chance we had, your friend, Mr. Vanderland, has ensured relations between us and the Army are worse than any point in the last five years. I'm sure he means well. But matters are more... Complex than he understands. <laughs> Me and Charles will try and rescue your son. No. Yes, yes. I ain't got much to lose, and you got... I'm doing this. Charles! Where are you? Come on, let's go. We need to get his son back, of course. I just ain't sure how. I've been working on that. I think there's a way. Follow me. So, I've been scouting the fort. The army are patrolling all the main roads and bridges in and out, but if we can get the horses across the river, I found a route that should get us in fairly close. If we wait until late enough, there's a place we should be able to sneak in around the back. Okay, whatever you think. I trust you. No guns, just knives and arrows. If we start making a lot of noise, he'll be dead before we get close to him. Okay. I left two canoes down river in case we need another way out of there. Okay, good. <laughs> <coughs> You know, this wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Dutch. Yeah, but we all went along with it. He saw Eagle Flies burn hot, and he fanned the flames. He never had any intention of helping those people. This point, I ain't sure if he's got any intention of even getting us out of here. He could be stringing everyone along, but he's holding all the money. Ain't that crazy. You feel that? There's rain on the wind. I know. Listen, Charles. If it goes bad in there, you can get yourself out. You got more to lose. No. Come on. Don't start talking like that. Uh, I didn't tell you before, but... Saw it, Doc. It's pretty bad. It's gonna get worse. Oh, Arthur. Any day we can die, hmm? We're riding to break an Indian chief's son out of a cavalry fort. We could both die tonight. In a way, 
It is a gift to know. In a way, you are lucky. Sure don't feel like that. You still have time to make amends. The others, Hosea, Lenny, Sean, all of them, they didn't. And what about the Calendar boys? Both killed trying to escape Blackwater? A more vicious pair of bastards than ever was. And that's all they ever were and will be. Maybe. You're lucky. You got the chance to... to do something better. My guess is maybe that's why you're here now. I'm here now because Dutch asked me to. I need to keep playing along with his plan until I find out where all that money's hidden. Okay. Are you all right? Yeah, I think so. That current's strong. Up here. Follow me. Uh, you were right about the damn rain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But might help us with sneaking in there. The rainsfall told me there was some retaliation after the meeting with Colonel Favors. Some women were taken. Elders beaten. Bastards. Yeah. This isn't gonna be nice. There it is. Should be fun. Let's get ourselves hidden and wait till it gets dark. Over here. I guess this is it. I guess it is. Let's keep quiet. I'm trying to find a way in. Main thing is that they don't hear us. You ready? Group. Hopefully we'll be in and out before they can come back around. There's two guards out front. If you take one, I'll take the other. Nice and quiet. Oh, I know. It's awful. Good. Let's make our way around the back. Stay close to the wall. Careful. There's a guard up there. Two more. One in the tower, one on the ground. Same as before. You take one, I got the other. Good. It's a bit further on here. This is the spot.
And you got this one? No need to waste an arrow on him. Use your knife. Make sure the tower is clear. Come on, we're good. There's a guard out front. You take him. I'll cover back there. Try to put an arrow into the lantern above that stack of wood over there. Start a fire. You should have a clear shot from the walkway up there. Search the body. Yeah. Come on. <clears throat> Your father sent us. My father. He told you to come and kill guards? No, he didn't say that. He... Of course not. You okay? Sure. Enjoy being tortured. Clears the mind. If you say so. Huh. Whoa, whoa. Oh. I'm fine, I'm fine. Shit! I don't think we're sneaking out of here.
Come this way. I remember seeing a hole in one of the walls when they brought me in. No. It's been sealed back up. Want to deal with this, would you? Yes, but how? I think we lost them. Come on. <coughs> you okay, Arthur? Yeah, I'm right as rain. How are you? <clears throat> I'll be fine in a day or so. I heal fast. Colonel Favors won't be too happy with your rescue. I guess not. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot more trouble. My father. Even he may have to fight. You won't win. No big fight with them. Shouldn't y'all just run away? Where would we go? I don't know. In front. Let me take you back to your father. Hmm? <sighs> Thank you. No mention. <clears throat> yeah!
Okay then, girl. 